and welcome back to another video from your girl here, Zoe's channel of tricks. How are we all doing? Hope you're all good today. Now, I have a very different setup today. I'm upstairs, tucked away in one of the bedrooms. Don't ask me why. Just thought I'd uh, get this video out, get it done, and get, give you some content. I mean, come on, come on, Zoe. Yeah, yeah, you're slacking a bit, aren't you? Note to self, that is. Anyway, today I have got. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this. I've never ever tried it. Fried, I kind of put it in the oven first, but fried Spam, some sweet potato fries, and of course you go and her onion rings. She loves them, she loves them. Um, the lighting is a bit crap, so I apologise for the poor quality. Um, yeah, since you guys like me being in pain so much, I wonder if you're going to like me feel just like feeling... The feeling of disgust when I chomp into this. I've seen loads of people doing it, you know, just a block of spam. I put it in the oven in foil for about 15 minutes and then I sealed it all ends in the frying pan. I'm gonna eat an onion ring first. Mmm. Onion rings are my weakness. But they do have to be very crunchy. Forgive me if I sound out of breath. I've been up and down the stairs trying to get this set up to looking somewhat decent. At least you can see all the food on the tray, I guess. Um, so I parboiled these sweet potato fries and then I just finished them off in the frying pan. Mm. Bit of salt, bit of pepper, bosh. Very, very good. Now. Shall I just pick this up with my fingers or shall I be elegant? Animal or elegant? What side of Zoe do you guys like? Can't see me onion rings, look. Ta-da! For drink, actually, I have some of this raspberry lemonade. I have done it on a video before. I think I might have done it with Brandon and I fell in love with it. It's just Aldi, love Aldi, um, and it's specially selected steel raspberry lemonade. It's got a to it. But yeah, it's better than Coke or soda or, you know, I think I'm just going to bite into it. Let's do this. I'm hot. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's an acquired taste. That is definitely. It tastes like. It tastes like a big fat hot dog sausage. And I can only handle them if they're within reason, you know. It's all right. It's not bad. Would I eat it again or make it again? No, sir. I'm trying to get some content out, that's, content out there that's different for you guys. I mean, rather than seeing the you know, the takeaways and the, oh, that's a very full bottle. They give you your money's worth. <laughs> I like that. I really like that. That's some more sweet potato. Mm. Mm. I love sweet potato. Mash fries, roasted, they're so nice, wow, I'm glad that Spam doesn't cost that much, 
me hear any background noise. My little girl is downstairs wreaking havoc. Um, yeah, I'm glad it's not, um, look at that bite I took though. Damn, girl. I'm glad it's not very expensive because It's an acquired taste, don't get me wrong. Oh, hot. Mmm. Mmm. Uh. It's just a lump of meat. And don't be coming for me in my comments telling me what's in that because uh -uh, uh -uh. I only eat hot dogs because I, I'm ignorant to the, you know, ignorance is bliss and all that. So I do have one thing to say. My son Brandon, who you all love on my channel, goes by the name Brando Geek 10 on his YouTube channel. He is performing live with his band tonight. Now this video is probably gonna go out after he's performed, but I will put the link in the description box below. If you could all click on the link, it takes you to his the the, the page that is set up for the, the performance. If you all don't mind um, giving it a like for him, just giving him some support. Um, he is the bass player. Um, and I'm very proud of him. He wants to be a musician. <laughs> Why can I never talk? Even on a serious conversation, why can I never spit my bloody words out? He is uh, an aspiring musician. He wants to make it, you know. He has his own album out on SoundCloud right now, which I'm very proud of. There's no vocals in it. He just made it on his laptop. Excuse me, himself. Um, so, yeah, if you don't mind, guys, please just click in the link, going over, following, you know. You know the rules, the jizzle, the, the business. Just get down to it. Please and thank you. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say really. I don't really have a story time for you. I was going to tell a ghost story because it's near Halloween. And I was going to tell you about... Mm, should I tell you? Let me get a couple more bites and I might tell you. Oh, sweet potatoes. You are godly. Mm. And of course, I've got my mayonnaise. Mm. That crunch. tired hence the scattiness can i say a big happy birthday to my sister Haley? it is her birthday today she is the big old 29 lucky devil um yeah happy birthday for when you watch this i'm sure you will um have a good one and anyone else's birthday that has been this week happy birthday guys i know octopular octopular October is a popular month for birthdays. Ta-da! Um, so yeah, happy birthday for anybody's birthday that is out there. I only really like the crunch on the outside of this. I don't think I'm going to eat much more of that, guys. I'm really sorry. I came, I saw. I'm not impressed. Um, yeah, so... Let me tell you the spooky little story that I have from when I was younger. We lived in a three bedroom house in um, in where I live. I'm not going to give my address, duh. Um, and there were five of us. So uh, there's me, my sister and my three brothers. 
and my dad, bless his heart, um, and some spooky goings on were happening in that house. We'd hear noises all the time. And then one night, um, my sister, my sister was only a baby. She's 10 years younger than me. So nine years younger than me. So she woke up screaming and I mean like a piercing scream. So I thought it was a night terror because I shared a bedroom with her. I thought it was a night terror. It wasn't. Turns out that, um, she was screaming that there was a man, there was a man, there was a man. And then all of a sudden, the God's honest, if I ever get my dad on this channel, ask him this. The chest of drawers, the drawers just kept opening and closing, opening and closing, opening and closing. Obviously, my dad didn't believe me at first, but then he came in and lay down on the bed like, next to us. And at first it didn't happen. And then all of a sudden, like everything kept happening. Like, all this noises around the room kept happening. And it was just a really spooky, spooky thing. And then after that, it's safe to say I moved out pretty pretty quick after that. Like as soon as I could, I was out of that house. The bathroom lights would switch themselves on and off. The you'd hear walking across the hallway. It sounded like someone was in the attic. I remember. Now I don't know if I was dreaming this or not, but because I was only young. But I remember waking up in the middle of the night and seeing a clown go across my window. <laughs> I was probably dreaming that, but. You know, it's things like that that stick with you forever, and it's scary things or paranormally spooky things. I know there's a lot of skeptics out there and whatnot. Um, but I firmly believe that we are not alone. I believe in aliens, or there is something else out there. I, I can't, I don't know, I do not believe, 100% do not believe that we are the only life force in the galaxy. There's got to be more. There has got to be more. Yeah. A little spooky story for you. I'm going to try my hand at some Halloween makeup on Halloween and doing a video with some scary foods. I'm going to try. No promises. I'm going to try. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Do you guys like spam like this have you ever had spam like this maybe i should have sliced it up and then fried it but i've seen all these asmr videos just hum, proper just chowing down on big lumps of spam so i thought i'd try it um yeah let me know in the comments if you've tried it before do you guys have any spooky stories to tell me let me know in the comments. I love, I love paranormal. In fact, I just wrote a status on Facebook today or yesterday. I cannot find, for the life of me, a really scary horror movie anymore. I don't know whether I've desensitised myself to them over the years, because I've watched so many. Or if they're just making them crap. Predictable and crap. I mean... The Fourth Kind is the only movie that I cannot watch. I will never watch it again. That was horrible, horrific. The real life images of people, no, 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 sorry. But, um, yeah, good horror movies are just hard to come by nowadays. Are they not? I love a good horror. I love to be scared. And if it's going to sleep. I love to be scared um, watching something. I mean, I don't like clowns, so it was scary, but not in a good way. Do you know what I mean? It was just plain scary. I just don't like clowns for the life of me. What are your phobias? Got out there, guys. What do you not like? What scares you? Spiders, bugs, clowns for me. And my biggest fear would be being buried alive. That is unfortunate. <laughs> that is a very unfortunate thing to happen. 
that would be so so horrible I've got a bit morbid now and I I like the crunchiness of this I should have sliced it up and then fried it because I like the crunchy bits on it I just don't like the big fat dollop of meat inside it <clears throat> guess what opens here tomorrow guys guess what taco bell you can ring my bell no, don't. <laughs> Mm hmm Taco Bell opens right five minutes from me. I am so happy. Although I have, if you haven't noticed, lost a little bit of weight. I am, um, I won't be there every week. <laughs> I'm just excited for it because I crave it and I have to drive half an hour to go and get one. So, yeah. What are you guys doing for Halloween? Are you having like get together? You know, you're having people round. I know you shouldn't, but. Hmm? I've got two little ones and my son, he, he's always so excited for Halloween. Halloween's his thing, he loves it. You know, he loves the dressing up, he loves the, the trick or treating. And we can't do it this year. Can't do it this year because of freaking COVID. Screw you, COVID. I'm not going no further. I'm done with that. <laughs> ah, I am done with that. Does anyone else like that noise? You know when someone drinks and they go ah, afterwards. Sometimes it annoys me. And then other times it doesn't faze me. I'm quite a strange one. Quite a strange one. Well, yeah, so let me know in the comments any spooky stories that you've got. I'd love to hear them. Or if you've got, you've got any of you guys have been to like a medium or a psychic um, or anything like that and, and the things that they said to you have come true or been true. I'd love to, I'd love to know. I love all that. <coughs> all right, it was the last two onion rings and then I'm out of here to watch Brandon's performance. Remember, I'm going to link it in the description box. Please go look at it, even if you don't like, like them. I mean, he's open to criticism, um, constructive criticism. Even if you don't like it though. Let us know. T say what he could do differently. Or they could do differently as a band. Click the link. You know, might like it. I say that I eat these last two onion rings. I'm just eating the sweet potato fries. But yeah, that was that spam was a massive fail. My bad. No, I might try. Scoop like cut it open. Like, cut the top open. <coughs> Excuse me. Scoop out all that nasty meat. Put mozzarella in there. That sounds like a plan. Do love me cheese. I love anything food, really, as you can tell. I ain't no skinny girl. And I said it before. Anyone else can call me fat, a whale, whatever it is you want to say. Mm -mm. I did it to myself. You can tell I've lost a bit of weight though. Mm. Flipping straps do not stay up. Anyway. <sighs> that is me done. Thank you to any new subscribers I have. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the crew. Welcome to the gang. Welcome to the squad. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the videos that you've watched so far and you continue to stay with me. 
Um, please don't forget to click the subscribe button, click the post notification bell so you are notified next time I upload a video. Leave us a comment on the spooky stuff. I'm really looking forward to hearing some of your stories, your your things that you want to say. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what to say anymore. I'm like a bad. <laughs>